Hey, howdy everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm checking out the new Dealer album, finally. And I'm excited. Dealer is one of those bands that I listened to back when they dropped the their first EP, which I think, yeah, that was the, the Soulburn EP. I was there when they dropped their first single, actually. And I listened to the Soulburn EP, loved that EP, listened to it a bunch. I didn't actually listen to the Saint EP. I, I don't think I ever heard that. And then they kind of dropped off for a little bit, didn't hear much from them, and then they're back, and now they have a new album. So this should be a lot of fun. The album's called New Order of Mind. Help me find help! Cause I can see it's eaten never sleep! 6-8, right off the bat. Oh, I'm gonna switch up. Their songwriting is so interesting. Your good man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, alrighty, off to a great start. Exactly about what I expected. Very chaotic, very bouncy. Lyrical flow is great. Haven't heard much of that, so I can't say for the whole album, but first track at least, it's really, really good. I'm on board. Now, I've heard Glass Preacher and I've heard Red Teeth. I did a video on that. If you want to go watch that, you can check that out. My favorite part about Dealer is the lyrical flow for sure. This goes so hard. I didn't listen to these these singles much since the first time I heard them months ago. I liked Red Teeth a little bit better, but this is still a good single. I think Dealer does this sort of hardcore genre better than other bands, better than like Knock Loose or Boundaries or like, no, those are the two big releases this year. Uh, but I think they do it a lot better and it's mainly due to the lyrical flow and the overall progression of the song. Some about the production I just like a lot more than than boundaries and knocked loose. Something about just the way the music sounds I like more. It's got such a groove to it, you know. Ooh, little electronic stuff in here, nice. We got slower. Love that. Oh, they took the wham wham was up an octave. Not an octave, but like like a fourth, I think. <laughs> Dealer knows how to write such groovy music. Uh oh. Oh! We got an arf arf! They did it again! Dealer and Knock Loose have the best arf arfs. That song, I think, may be my favorite so far. I haven't listened to Red Teeth a lot, and I forgot what it sounded like, but that was my favorite out of the three songs that we've heard. It had such a groove to it. It had an amazing overall vibe to it. The instrumental, like, the electronic stuff, and the weird, like, wow, wow, like, that stuff was really, really cool. The Arf Arf was great. Uh, I know I know they did another Arf Arf in one of the songs off of the the EP. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, not that one. Uh, um, uh, I think it's Crooked. Here we, yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Crook I see. I remembered that was better than the Crooked Arf Arf. I still don't think it's it's not as iconic as knocked loose arf arf i think that's more iconic but i think the songwriting overall with dealer is better aiden's vocals are so interesting he has such an iconic voice his his voice the way he screams is it's very recognizable but it's not recognizable in the same way as something like um like brian's from knocked loose's vocals are where his are extremely unique because they're very different Aiden's vocals are very unique because of just the way that he does it. He sounds like he's like it's it's <laughs> I haven't drunk enough water today. Pull out the Skyward Sword cup real quick. I spilled on my shirt real quick. Anyway, 
just the way that he screams and the way that he he's he sounds like he's like right here like he, it kind of reminds me of uh justin from like, like hungry lights um tala <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the way that he does it except justin screams are way more diverse he does like a different style every three seconds he's doing something he's always switching up his voice and aiden's vocals are more so just one sort of style the whole time but it really really works and it stands out like he's a very recognizable vocalist and i really love that about this band yes all of their harmonics too the little like wah, 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 wah. that's another thing i really love about them i love bands that do that like after the burial and stuff like that it's so good Oh my goodness! Seeing it with the lyrics now, you can really appreciate the flow even more. When I heard it in the music video and I checked that out, I think that was... Was that on stream? No, that wasn't on stream. No, it was on stream. Yeah, it was on stream. When I checked that out and I listened to it the first time, I was like, the vocal flow is good, but when I listened to something like this, and this stood out to me with Darko as well when I listened to that album, anything by Darko, I appreciate it more when I can hear the when I see the lyrics and I can follow along. Same thing here. Hearing this like, like a great... Like, when they were shopping with it, you can call this. Sorry. It's it's just it has such a bounce to it, and you can appreciate it more when you see the lyrics that are actually being sung along with it. Because sometimes it's it's hard to it's hard to tell what he's saying. It's not scrolling again, but it's fine. Come on, Spotify, keep up. Slowing it down never fails to make the song ten times better. Every single time, Dealer loves doing that, and they're so good at it. Yeah, this one and the previous one. Dumb on the Wire, those are my favorites. We getting a ballad track? Let's go. Big hype. Okay. Cleans! Let's go! Wow, I didn't think I was going to need a piano for this reaction. But this is incredible. Wow, this may be their best song. Oh, good. Oh, good. Wow, that's all I can say. I'm very impressed with this. I don't think they've done cleans before, at least from what I've heard. If I remember correctly, that's incredible. That's my favorite song. I didn't think I was going to need the piano for this. I didn't think I would need that. It was the... Oh, my mic's cutting it out. I can see. It's cutting it out because it thinks it's not a note that should be there, but it's there. I'm singing it, please. Anyway, that's what makes it really good. That's so beautiful. This was very loath. It was in that loath sort of atmosphere where there's like big chords that have these these crunchiness to them. Where you have like this A flat chord with the four here, which makes a tritone here, and like a big dissonance, but it's it's got such a weight to it that hits so hard. This dissonance here into the C minor seven. that distance it's so beautiful let's go Ooh, they brought back the they brought back the fumbles. i love the fumbles. they had that in the in the soul burn ep all the songs have felt very unique too so far Yeah! Ah! <laughs> good breakdown. This album is really good. It flows really well as an album, too. Having Pearl in there as like a slower ballad track was a really good decision. It kind of breaks up the chaos a little bit. Oh, this is so similar to the, the Crooked riff. That 
slow. This one's weird. I love this atmosphere. Have to sing it lower. The mic's not gonna pick it up. Boo! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Play with that symbol. Nice. The last part of that song was great. It's all so bouncy. It's so groovy. It's so much fun. Here we go. I want what I gave for all the blood I spent, all the blood I poured. This pain will never wait. Ah. Never wait. Woo. It's so groovy. Get those harmonics. Not much to say other than that was good. Why is this tickling my ears? <laughs> Interesting. Is the whole track gonna be like this? This is very different. I like it. Oh, into the riff. Wow. Oh, that flow. Is this the best song? I think so. That song was so weird and I loved it. That might be my favorite track on the album other than Pearl. That might be my favorite. Pearl's number one still. Unexpectedly beautiful track right in the middle of this. Some more cleans. Nice. This chorus part is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's a great melody, actually, for real. This song is really good. The progression of this is incredible. They're pulling out the loathe again. Please just vibe like this for the next minute. Mm. That's such a good outro. What a good album. I'm thinking of maybe putting this in Masterpiece. I don't know at the end of the year what I'm going to think of it, but for right now, I love it. I can't think of a single thing about this that I didn't like. There wasn't a single song that didn't hit super hard. Everything was awesome. The cleans in Pearl and Almost Human were amazing. I think I have to give this masterpiece. I think I really do. This kind of style isn't something I listen to all the time, but I think I have to come back to this a bunch just because of how good it is. I'm really trying to think of something that I didn't like about it. There wasn't a single thing. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this album. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that liked this. So let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite songs were. Let me know what your favorite parts were. Let me know what weird alien noises were your favorite alien noises. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. And see you later. Bye-bye.